My outlook on everything is very simple. I do things my way, and, and that's the way it is. I guess he's kind of like a serial killer. I guess you could just say he's kind of like uh, the guy next door, like he was always the quiet type, so. This is my ex-wife being killed by my spirit viking. You can see the, the knife going into her neck. There's too many stories, man, whether it's yeah, fighting cops, fighting, you know, cardboard gangsters or, or, or banging strippers, I mean. Right. It's a different situation. You might have to hit a dude or you might have to choke a dude, you know? There's been times where I choke them and they piss themselves. If you hold on too long, you kill them, you know? Where one kicks at right now is actually the beginning stages of being from a struggling artist to a major, major, major recording artist. I think a lot of people want to be me. They just don't have the balls to. I told my dad when I was uh, 13 that when I turned 14, it better not ever hit me again or I'm gonna knock him out, you know? We were boxing one day and he had been drinking a little bit, so I caught him with a nice shot. And then uh, after that, he respected me and never hit me again. My pro career wasn't so hot. I just didn't know the right people. Uh, I depended on other people to get my fights for me. You know, I wound up being shuffled around a little bit. I had a, a lot of uh, letdowns in boxing and kickboxing. And then one kick, Nick, uh, didn't come in the ring. This is a Japanese tattoo. There was a bouncer I worked with uh, named Jack. Echigeki Hisatsu. He was a manager of a, a, a club called the Shark Club. I didn't work there, but I used to visit there a lot. That's uh, stands for one kick, one kill. A few situations happened where the bouncers were fighting. I came out and kicked a couple guys, and they got knocked out. So they, uh, one bouncer started calling me one kick. 